Hey guys, back. This is gonna be quick 20 questions where if you ever have one, you just say, ask the question, give the best answer, of course. So, for first question um, favorite comedy? No, I don't. You can't support. I don't so he knows that I support have a hard time I'm not, with I'm not making so, up my I'm mind so pretty indecisive. But I feel like that just runs in this family. Yeah. Like for the time being, I think he knows. it would no. be. I talked to him, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go mm. buy into his the craziness. That's a good movie. Autumn. The two are completely separate. Favorite comedy. There's no reason that by talking to him and, uh, him and by giving him encouragement, oh, or whatever that you are. For me, what? For me, it'd probably be Tommy Boy, Chris Farley. That's a movie you can watch a hundred times and still love your head off. Grown Ups? I haven't talked to him. That's a good movie. That's a good one. I think that you can hear. If you do, a uh, favorite superhero movie if you watch them? Superhero movie. I like in the Batman. Those are always good. Always nice and shadowful, but also colorful when they need to. Dark Knight is my favorite. I remember we had a DVD I, of that I movie, totally but my dad would forbid me to watch it because yeah. I had it. We had it when I was a kid. It is. I loved it. <laughs> it had probably one of my it favorite is. Jokers. Yeah. Rest in peace, you crazy. Problem. Have you seen Joker? But not, I'm not mm -hmm. going to buy I actually into just saw it. Is it good? You must have that. Awesome. Nothing to do with your you. favorite superhero. You movie? can engage him in a conversation. It has nothing to do with her. <laughs> The original yeah, Avengers. For me, for a long to. time, uh, it, it that's always been hard that. since I love superhero I movies. Uh, it'd probably be a tie between the very unpopular Ghost Rider and Avengers Endgame. Yeah, I haven't seen Endgame yet. Oh, it's so good. From what I remember, I saw a review of it. He said the best part of it is the third act. And that's the part where every Avenger uh, fights Thanos and his army. Oh, it, it's one of the best fight scenes I've probably seen in the Avengers franchise. I'm not going to talk about that. That's between you and her. You can see it on uh, Disney Plus if you have that. I do have Disney Plus. Oh, it's. I remember a show um, Zach told me to watch is uh, The Mandalorian. Yes, it's a Star Wars thing, so I'm not gonna watch it. Yep, I'm sure. Exactly. But that's what Here's I'm the thing. Thing. I, I can res I understand why people love Star Wars. It's a popular franchise with a lot of marketability. I just can't get into it. I didn't get into it either. Preston loves it. I like the care. I love the characters. I love like Chewbacca, R2D2. I know the characters because they've been around for years. It just not my thing. Whose side does it look like to him? Not my favorite. No. I remember me and mom watched this like a little bit of one of the movies, and yeah, I can definitely see why people love it. I couldn't, I got a little bit into it, but not to where I would watch all the like movies and stuff. I have done that. Same. Or, you know, and I used to have like a game or something that I would play, but other than that, I didn't really get into the movies. Whatever. It's like a card game. I sent him a birthday card for God's sake. When? Or his birthday. Here's a weird one. Least favorite superhero movie. That's that's least myself. favorite. I did not like. He doesn't send me birthday cards. He doesn't send me nothing. But is that the reason why you send them to him? Just to keep, just to keep the door open. Yeah. Every time I, the, I like Tom Holland. No, but he was Spider-Man. Just wasn't my favorite. That you just wasn't, and and no. like he, I don't know. I haven't that. watched the whole I've, I've tried Into the Web Spider-Man. I can't. Alert, I can't get into into the Spider-Verse. Spider-Man. I like the, the direct the timeline thing. Spider-Man's always been the, the hero that has so many branching timelines, so many yeah. time travel stuff to where you can't okay. follow well, anything anymore. Yeah, there's just too many. It's been remade too many times now. Yeah, I can't get into all the remakes anymore. Probably one of my least favorite superhero movies is Spider-Man 3 from 2007. Really? I I remember I had it on DVD, and at the time, I liked it only because uh, I was an idiot. The one I do remember, I'm with everyone to where the one scene you have to skip in that movie is the one where Peter's acting all cocky when he has his denim suit and he's doing that New York thing. Oh, yes, it's so cringy. I could agree on that. I agree that it's difficult.
I do like uh, probably one of my favorite scenes in that movie, and a lot of people have agreed with this, like critics. The birth of the Sandman. Oh yeah. That's probably the highlight of the movie because yeah. they know not to talk. They have nothing going on except that dramatic music of Sandman just trying to stand up. Yeah. And it's he's one of those villains where you kind of felt sorry for him because he's he's not a criminal. He's just trying to help his daughter. Right. He's just trying to get his daughter. Okay, guys. Run him over. Run him over. Kill these mother. Okay, no. I don't hit the dog. I'm not gonna hit him. For God's sake. Ducks don't kill. Geese kill. Geese serve no purpose. Okay. Uh, favorite animated movie. Okay, so is this the one I turn on? No. Oh, that's a good movie. Autumn? I remember when that movie first came out, like the week it was out, um, every day when me and my dad would come home, we'd find her watching Tangled, and she'd always get me sucked in. Uh, probably for me, one of my favorite animated movies. I love the fact that you guys are giving the favorite. I'm giving them one because, like you said, it's a hard choice. What am I? I love the first How to Train Your Dragon. And I love the second one. I, I haven't seen the third one yet. You know they're making a, another special? How to Train Your Dragon Homecoming. Gosh, so many... If it's nostalgic and pro if it's profitable, they'll keep making sequels. Which is why, back to Star Wars, how they're promoting this as the last Star Wars movie, I call BS on that. If this movie is successful, which you know it will be, they will make a branching timeline with this character. With it, Star Wars, in my opinion, will never stop. Yeah. And uh, with How to Train Your Dragon, with this special, uh, it actually centers around Hiccup and Astrid's kids. Mm -hmm. Their daughter actually finds out the old past about Vikings and dragons, how they hated each other. So she starts hating dragons and shocks Hiccup and Astrid. And I haven't seen it, I've only seen the trailer for it, and it's actually quite shocking. I want to see that in Maleficent. Oh, yeah. That. The, Mal I've, I've watched countless top tens. Malev with uh, Disney villains, Maleficent always is in like the top three. Yeah, the only know. Disney villain that's ever beaten her is Scar. Yeah. Have you seen the uh, Lion King live action one? Yeah. What'd you think of it? I mean, I didn't dislike it. I thought it was okay. You just thought it didn't need to be made? Yeah, it was, you know, I, I like the original. Yeah, I've heard from people that it's just like the animated one, so it didn't. You know, it was, it was very, very, it, very similar. It's okay. Like and I remember, um, like the main problem was that when it was first announced, like people were complaining that Simba wasn't too <laughs> emotional. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like lions have been all sorts known for their arch and Shakespearean art. Like, yeah. It's supposed to be actual lions, yeah. dude. Yeah. I can definitely see why people would have a problem with it since Disney live-action remakes haven't had the best track record. Yeah. I say a movie or a series that should be revamped is, I don't know if you've seen this, Gargoyles. On the surface, it's like Disney's answer to the Batman animated series. But it gives so insane. Like, there's an, there's an episode actually in this Disney cartoon in the nine, in 94 about gun safety. Yeah. Oh, nice. did, I feel like Disney can when they need. Yeah, I've always loved cartoons where they can actually do a serious so, message. Mm -hmm. Is it just the classic to, soft the I, tip of the iceberg the lessons? Well, it's a. Um, okay, here's one. Uh, favorite guilty pleasure movie, meaning a movie that you know sucks but you still love it. Okay. High School Musical. I'm sorry, I did not expect that answer. Autumn. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna be nice and let this woman in, but if she thinks that guilty she's pleasure just movies, cut in, let her um, cut in. Maybe a spirit. Yeah. 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 Camp Rock. <laughs> Camp Rock. Could you bite? Um, probably for me it would be. Um, because you said thank you. Uh, yeah, how we feel holiday spirit. Mm. 
Now see this this uh, woman fits. I want to go right behind her. I want to see that's a hard one since I try, I'm trying to think like what's a movie that's been critically panned but I love um, from what I see probably the Tom and Jerry movie yeah and the, the first one the first one really the reason the re you said the fur the reason a lot of people have hated this movie is because it does give Tom and Jerry voices for the whole thing you Which, yeah, so I can see why people would see, hate I that, but I still, that. it's still That's Tom and, and that they work together okay. for the whole movie. To Until he gets up it does seem like, like they try to do this yeah, entirely different man. movie and then shoehorn Tom <laughs> and because Jerry it's into it. Because it, the main focus isn't Tom and Jerry fighting each other, it's yeah. Tom and Jerry helping this orphan girl find her father. Oh. Like, that does not sound like a Tom and Jerry kind of thing, but oh. I still love it. It's just too good to. Thank you. It's a good one for you. Oh, yeah, and it's funny. All right, everybody's got to remember what level we're parking on. Okay. That's usually my job since you suck at memory. Grandma that, or Grandpa that Grandma's brakes this weekend. Yeah, he knows. We he hasn't fixed it yet. Yeah, we just got him done. We just had new rotors put on the back. Hmm. Stacy behind us. Yeah. Come on, Stace. Come Maybe on. Maybe she let two people in like somebody else I know. Maybe. Here's a weird one. Favorite why, why um, yeah, fever yeah, dream not, movie or favorite fever dream show, show and that but, meaning... Like a show you think didn't exist, but then find out did. If that made sense. A show. Show a movie that you thought you thought you made up, or that you hallucinated, but turned out was real. Lost. Have you seen Lost? I've heard of Lost. I never watched it. Lost. Um. I know. You need to tell me Whatever that is, something catching. Probably, uh, God, what? Terry. Is that me? I can't remember what it's called, but I'm, I think I have it in my head. Um, hey Siri, I can't think of one. It's weird. Hey, Usually I have an answer for these. It'll come to you. Yeah, probably. Sweet Jesus. Eventually. Sweet Jesus. Yeah. No. You guys. Have you seen uh, Captain Marvel? No. He's Autumn like a text. Sweet <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, she loves the character. Which yeah. one should I, I select? <laughs> Sweet <laughs> Jesus. I'm not that big a fan of Captain Marvel. Oh my god, I'm trying to drive here. Yeah. Can my I problem with her... Autumn knows why I hate her. She hates me probably for saying, saying this. I have a problem with her because she seems a little too overpowered. Yeah. To the exit. That's that's reserved. Reserved. Who's gonna for this video? Sunday or Saturday. See you in the next one. Bye.